So, um, the final piece of the puzzle is here. I can't believe it. Finally, the turn pumps. There so should be two in here. Let's have a look at it. Let's open it up and see what's in it. Um, obviously, we've used this box for other things in the past, so it's a good box, which is all good. Take the hell out of it. Um, as you can see, I can see the two pumps are in there, or the two boxes for the pumps are in there. And the tape is taped to the lids of the boxes. So, yeah, hopefully we're alright. Just put the sponge on, on the top of this box, so they should be fine. I'm going to peel this off without ruining the packaging of the, of the pumps. Coming off fairly really easy. Getting in there. So it looks like the box has taken a bit of a hit. One of the pumps is, one of the pump boxes is open on the bottom. Hopefully it's alright. It's funny, all this fragile electronics in here, and there's not one fragile sticker on the box. The airline hose that I got, the 200 meters that I got the other day, had fragile stickers all the way around it. There's not one fragile thing in airline hose. So, don't figure the irony in that. Um, so, hopefully this is alright. But yeah, this one has taken a bit of a hit. Oh, That's the way they packaged it. It's kind of like put the outer box within the inner box. So that's one box, one pump. As you can see, it's kind of um, the box is already open, kind of. So hopefully that pump is okay. This pump is taking a bit of a hit as well. The box is it's a bit crumpled, but hopefully she's okay. So I'll just clean this up and get it out of the way, and then we'll have a look inside both of the pumps. So as I said. The earlier videos, um, two 15,000 litre per hour pumps. So one pump will run the 12 2 by one foot tanks that are at the top row, and the other pump will run the two 4 by 2s and the six 2 by 2 cubes. So hopefully that's enough um, water flow for all the tanks, I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, so we've got about just under 3,000 litres of water here. And these are going to be pushing 30,000 litres of water an hour, so a little bit of a turnover rate there, which is good. But anyway, let's get cracking and open these boxes and make sure these pumps are alright. So, last bit of tape off there. Okay, so there's the controller box. I believe this is the transformer. There's various fittings for the um, outlet of the pump. Another box for adapters and fittings for the pump as well. And here's the pump itself. It's got there's the base, uh, it just slides onto here. It's a pretty, pretty heavy pump. Um, and the feet for the pump are in the box. Hopefully they're all there. I can only see three though. So possibly one has gone missing, which isn't great because it's gonna need those to keep the pump from vibrating in the, in the tank. They've got adapters. So, uh, Chinese to Australian adapter, I assume. Yeah, I'm not overly impressed with the packaging, to be honest with you. Yeah. Looks like one of, the, one of the rubber feet is missing from this pump, so I'm gonna have to do something up about that. Um, that's just the way they packed it, because part of this box was on the outside of the actual shipping box 
is a shame, so it must have fallen out. But that's what you get for purchasing stuff on eBay. It's a bit in and miss sometimes. I'm afraid. Shake this pump and try not to get them mixed up. This one's packaged a lot better. A lot better. So this plug seems to have seems to be the Australian proper Australian plug. So yeah, very odd. Actually, the on this pump. If you can see there, the, the terminal has been bent. It's probably from shipping. It shouldn't affect the pump, but still, hopefully it's okay. I wonder why. I wonder why they've packed an Australian adapter when the plug is already an Australian plug. Maybe they've shipped me this by mistake, I'm not sure. Um, They've given me two of them, which is odd. So, that does plug into there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to test that. But anyway, on with this one. So, controller, adapter, we've got all the fittings that were in the other box. The little uh, cage to stop debris going in to the pump. The pump itself has all four feet. Um, and yeah, instruction manual. And that's it, really. Nothing else in here. So it seems that either they've opened one box and put these two adapters in here for me for both pumps or oh, they've shipped me this as a mistake, I'm not sure um, but anyway, so yeah, this is the last of the bits of equipment I needed to finish um, the system uh, it's a long weekend coming up here in Australia for the Queen's birthday, so I'll have three days of good solid work finishing this system and um, yeah, hopefully I can have it up and running and start the cycle uh, next week. So then it'll be about a six to eight week wait until I can start stocking it with fish. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to be pretty patient while yeah, just until it's um, all ready to go for fish.